Hey guys, so far, how many videos did we create on Bass Script? We have learned about 42 different contents on how to develop those Bass Scripts. Now we have to get a different experience of how to utilize those Bass Scripts within UiPath Studio. Now what is the benefit of doing so? The benefit is that the lengthier workflows we used to have within UiPath Studio can be minimized to a lot extent by implementing the Bass Script. So how to do that? This will be a powerful experience. So let's move on to our screen and let's get started. A couple of bad steps that we have developed in the past couple of days. Now here, let's say we are going to use this particular bash file, delete files. So let me open it with notepad plus plus. All right, so you can see the script here. So this script I have already explained, but again, let me explain you anyone who is very new, which is going to help them. So CD we have learned, which is change directory. So first of all, I'm saying you go to this specific directory in which I would like to delete the file. So this directory is nothing but this is a folder on my screen and uh, inside the demo folder, I am going to create few documents. Okay. So I'm going to create a document copy and I'm going to paste it several times. So what is my job in this folder? There could be varieties of documents. One is the text kind of a document .txt. There is an Excel file. There's a PDF file, which I, what I want, I would like to only delete the text files, not the Excel files, not the PDF files, only text files. I would like to delete. So here the script has been written pretty simple script. Okay. It's not very complex. You can see few lines of code. That's all. Now here I'm using a for each loop. So once it goes inside that folder, I'm using a for each loop or for loop and here there is a switch called slash f. What is the meaning of this? That means it is you are telling, hey, for each loop, you go and iterate through the files that are available inside the folder. So inside this folder, we saw there are multiple different kinds of files. So you go through each and every file and if you see the script and store it in this variable percentage percent g is nothing but a variable where you have to store those names okay and delims means what delims means what the names can have a space you can see the names has a space new space text space document right there's a space in the name so delims is all about that equals to means if there is a space in the name of the file f means stands for file okay go through all the files which has a space and store those names in percentage percent d now here in here we are setting a condition what kind of a file it should be a dot txt file so whatever the name is a star what could you know it doesn't matter you know whatever name it is doesn't matter so we are putting a star wild character dot txt it should be a txt file only in case you don't want txt then you can put a star it could be any format so here I am very specific about txt file. So I'm saying txt. Okay. Then do what? Do delete this file. Person is the variable. Okay. Pretty simple script. It will be very interesting. Okay. Lot of your workflows in UiPath can be minimized with, if you know how to implement a bash script. In many different situations, you can recall, hey, bash script can be implemented rather than you know me uh, using multiple, uh, you know, you know, uh, increasing the workflow. I can go for a bash script which can call and it will do the job. For example, delete files. Okay. Look at this pretty simple one and this bash script I can call multiple times throughout my workflow. Okay. This is one of the way. Okay. I'm not saying um, only go with this or do not use the uh, this one. You can go. Uh, it's up to your choice. If you know bash script, it will be more interesting. You know, you can do a same thing in a many different ways. Okay. That is the intention. All right. So we got to know what is the bash script we, we learned. Now, what we are going to do, we have to implement that within our UiPath Studio. Now, for this very simple activity, start process activity. Okay, start process activity. That's all. You know, with this activity, I can call the bash script. Now, what I have to do, I have to click on the folder and go to the folder where I am storing my bash scripts. Okay. And now, you can see there are so many bash scripts and uh, the bash script which I want to call is delete files. Okay, select that and open. That's all, and you are done. You just have to point where that bash script is with the start process activity, and it is going to call it and run it. So let's see. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, you know, this is how our bash script looks like. What I'm design, what I, I want. All these text documents only should be deleted. These two files should not be deleted. Okay, that's why I have written the script. 
now let's run the script from the uapa studio so let me execute this okay or let me debug this pretty simple one very powerful so start learning the bash script tutorial you know you can enhance your coding skills and it will definitely put an edge the, the way you you know execute things on your app studio okay so always keep your mind open to learn as many things as possible okay it's compiling the activities wait for a few seconds okay so you can see the execution has started okay here you can see okay wait for few seconds okay you can see the execution completed okay the execution got completed now let's go to our demo folder and you can see all the files got deleted getting it pretty powerful one okay the small experience easy experience but again pretty powerful way of executing things so thank you guys for watching let's continue learning the bash script okay uh, if you have not started yet please do visit my channel look for the playlist bash script and start learning from the beginning it's quite easy if you do not have any prior knowledge doesn't matter you can just start so thank you guys let's move on to our next topic